Number 20. The Dire Wolf. Uh, Lord Dire Wolf, south of the wall. Number 5. No, not Dire Wolves. Dire Wolf. Two words, not one. When it's one word, it's a fictional fantasy race that can grow to a massive size. But we're talking about the other, which, although bigger than gray wolves or another extinct subspecies, the Newfoundland wolf, wasn't quite that huge. Dire wolves inhabited China and North America as recently as 9,500 years ago. A particular note is their bite force, which was the strongest of any known canis species. Because of this, it's believed that they specialized in hunting large prey, such as the once abundant megafauna that lived in North America. However, with the death of their prey, it's theorized that the dire wolf followed its food sources into extinction. Was the dire wolf unable to satisfy Zadigmungund, or did some overwhelming force drive it into oblivion? Number 19. The Quida. The Quaka beating project is um, an attempt to use selective feeding to breed animals that are as similar as possible in type to the original kokas which roamed in the western cape. Despite its adorable mane, this subspecies of zebra is no more. Native to South Africa, the quadra became victim to the hunting of early Dutch settlers and later Afrikaners to provide meek and skims. Disappearing mostly in the 1850s, the wild quanda became officially extinct a few decades later, though some captured ones could be found in zoos. On August 12, 1883, the very last captive specimen died, writing the final entry into the lifespan of this impressive species. We are reviving an extinct species of quaka, and that is for the benefit of our future generations. Birds died out, it's believed to fake human activity is the number one aspect. Initially widespread across all areas of the island, there was evidence of their homes being demolished, while the birds themselves were hunted, which led to their untimely demise. Farfalized eggs of the species have remained and have become an increasingly priceless commodity across museums to this day, although there were several factors threatening the birds' survival. It could have been people eating the eggs who dealt the species its final blow. Number 17. The Bear Dog Look, charging right at us with huge teeth. It's a bear. It's a dog. It's Anthocyon. Popularly known as a bear dog, Anthocyon had features like both carnivorous mammals, and it was just one of a very diverse group of ancient meat ears that ruled the northern hemisphere for over 30 million years. Although it had a tail and teeth like a wolf or dog, its huge body, which could weigh over half a ton, was more comparable to a bear's. Size matters and size can dictate a vicious cycle that ends in species extinction. The bigger you are, the more full you need. And of course, the mammals will hear high medivod where thought to have originated in North America, bear dogs spread out over Asia, Europe, and Africa too. Although they lived between 16 and 2 million years ago, the rise of other swifter mammal carnivores is theorized to have forced them into decline. Number 16. The Great Auk a flightless water bird, the great auk once roamed the waters of the northern Atlantic Ocean, ranging from Europe to North America. Generally a little under three feet tall and featuring a hooked beak and webbed feet, great auks were strong swimmers, but auk word on land. A mere few hundred and fifty years ago, you could see thousands of them in vast towers. Now, Erol Gla. Tragically, the great auk was hunted to extinction by humans, with cultures all over the Atlantic killing it for its meat and especially its gown, which was in high demand. The last two confined great auks were killed on an island near Iceland in 1844. Still, if Lydafi would live on in other ways, such as its scientific name, Penguinus impenis, which inspired the naming of penguins, given beverent ones. Conservationists say the story of his extermination should act as a warming. Number 50. The Short-Faced Bear Although we considered discussing another extinct bear species, the Atlas Bear of Africa, we're electing to discuss a less recent extinct bear. Short-Faced Bears were native to North America and came in two species the lesser short-faced bear and the greater short-faced bear. It's huge, weighing 900 kilos. Ah, 3.4 meters tall on two legs. It could reach herd in a basketball. True to their name, both species had shorter snouts than those bears. However, while the lesser species was comparable in size to modern bears, the greater short-faced bear was a massive six feet tall at the shoulder. It could look a tall human in the eye. It was possibly the largest terrestrial mammalian predator to ever live, and some weighed more than a time. 
they became extinct around 11,000 years ago, possibly due to global cooling. As the Earth's new rulers, we just might learn something from this vanished and mighty predecessor. Number 14. The Aurochs The Aurochs was a type of wild cattle, and is the ancestor of the domestic cattle common to gay. Compared to modern cattle, they had longer legs and larger heads, no gout to support the weight of their larger horns. Not much smaller than an elephant. Extraordinary in size and strength. Sparing neither man nor wild beast. Once found throughout Europe, Asia, and Africa, the Aurochs gradually died out due to excessive hunting, encroachment by humans, as well as diseases spread from regular cattle. Although they went extinct in 1627, their genes survived in domesticated cattle, and a number of attempts have been made to breed the Aurochs, or something like it, back into existence. My brother and I now have to do was to unite in a single animal all those characteristics of the wild dogs that are now found spread between different breeds of tame cattle. Number 13. Avaiji Commonly referred to as the Chinese river dolphin, a majestic creature could only be found in the Yangtze River in the Asian country where it got its name. Affectionately nicknamed the goddess of the Yangtze, the Baiji became victim to the growing advances and industrialization of modern China that led to massive water pollution. Modern at a twenty. Essentially, there were possibly only 13 wild dolphins left in the Yangtze. Repeated efforts were made to conserve the species, but an expedition in 2006 failed to discover any remaining Baiji in the river. The last living Baiji, known as Chi Chi, died in 2002. For the international conservation community, it really needs to act as a wake-up call that we need to be far more efficient and far more quick to react to conservation crises in the future. Number 12. The Caspian Tiger While we consider discussing the also extinct subspecies of tiger from Bali and Java, we're focusing on the Caspian Tiger. As its name as flies, they were native to areas near the Caspian Sea and beyond being found as far west as Turkey and as far east as West China. Of the tiger subspecies, the Caspian tiger was most closely related to the Siberian tiger, although its coats tended to be brighter colored. The cause of its extinction was naturally humans hunting it. Although our killing a bear food supply, like wild boar, didn't make it any easier for them to survive. The Caspian tiger was declared extinct in 2003. Number 11, the ground flot, whose animals called make a serium. Marvelous name, but all it means is big anime. What was once a unique beast that thrived during the Ice Age periods is now known for associating with a dim-witted animated film character. <laughs> <We're city. laughs> Upon their extinction over 10,000 years ago, it's believed to be no coincidence that the depths of the ground sloth are linked to humanity's entry into the North American regions. Though climate change was also a factor. The sweat's best so as to inflict damage with its long, sharp claws. With large and dangerous looking claws, speculation remains to Biff Day about whether this variation of sloth only used them to collect bark from trees. Though it's most likely that these mammals were herbivores, although slow moving. Its massive size was protection against smaller predators, like the saber-toothed canny. Number 10. The Western Black Rhino Several subspecies of black rhinos have got extinct in recent history, and the most we think is the Western Black Rhinoceros. Once found in Nigeria, Cameroon, Chad, and the Central African Republic, the Western Black Rhinos were hunted to extinction, both in defense of human population centers and for sport and folk medicine remedies. Humans are the adult rhino's only predator in the wild. Black rhinos are killed in Africa for their valuable horns, which are sold as decorations, medicinal cures, and aphrodisia. Despite conservation efforts, the Western Black Rhino was declared extinct in 2011, with the final known specimen dying in 2006. Tragically, the Western Black was part of an overall decline of Black Rhinos in general, with a staggering 96% of all subspecies being killed between 1970 and 1992, a mere 22 years later. It's such an iconic species. If we can't save the Rhino, how on earth are we going to save species that are of much less public interest? Number 9. The Moat. The Moa. Some of the biggest and most extraordinary birds to have ever walked the earth. New Zealand is fairly isolated from the rest of the world, and this isolation led to the development of some truly strange birds. Moa were once nine different species of wingless, flightless birds that inhabited the New Zealand archipelago. 
The smallest were still fairly large birds, around the size of the turkey. The biggest species, though, could reach up to 12 feet tall. Naturally, when humans first discovered the islands, the moa were a readily available and large food source. Sadly, every species was hunted to extinction within 100 years of humanity's arrival in New Zealand, although unconfirmed sightings persisted for several centuries afterwards. Number 8. The Eurasian Cave Lion, also known as the European Cave Lion. <laughs> Spatuated to become extinct around 10,000 years ago, heme beasts were huge. On average, over 7 feet long without the tail, and could weigh 700 pounds. Massive in thighs and angle. Number 7. The Irish Elk, that has antlers so vast and elaborate, they stretch 12 feet from tick to tick. They are the crime and bory of the magnificent Irish belt. Despite its name, this species of deer was not exclusive to Ireland, making its way across Eurasia and Northern Africa for thousands of years. The Irish elk is known for being the largest species of deer ever found, as they could have stood at 12 feet with antler height included. Unable to survive subarctic conditions, which caused a lack of good food, it's been suggested that the last of beef deer may have died out about 11,000 years ago in Ireland, hence its given name. Others may have survived the Ice Age through Europe, but were probably hunted down. The case of the Irish show reveals that face with a changing woe, too highly above the desired, and actually poo banal's undoing. Number 6. Gigantopithecus Gigantopithecus is an extinct species of large eight. Estimating its exact appearance and size has proven difficult because only their jaws and teeth have been discovered. From these remains, it's believed they were herbivores and weighed somewhere between 400 pounds and over half a ton. But an even closer look at beast teeth has revealed much more than just how big this animal was. For one thing, scientists have been able to use them to figure out who its closest living relatives are. Originally thought to have been an ancestor of humans, Gigantothysicus is now thought to be more closely related to orangutans. Native to what is now southern China, Gigantopithecus went extinct around 300,000 years ago, with changing climate the likely culprit. Still, there are those who believe Gigantopithecus may be the origin behind legends like the Yeti or Bidfoot, so who knows if they're all gone or not. Number 5. Phylacene There was one Tasmanian animal that's no longer found on the mainland. A ferocious flesh-eater that terrorized all the other beasts. The Phylacoleo or Australian lion was considered, but we are discussing another marsupial predator. Best known as the Tasmanian tiger, the Phylacene is a purely nocturnal creature. Evidence suggests that these native Australians were very retiring in nature and became extinct in the mainland around 2000 years ago, yet survived until the 1930s in Tasmania. There are even some people who think the thylacine still exists today. Amazingly, some thylacines and phenom come to the motion picture age. This film shows one a fetty plate placing round its cage in the vivid surf. General sightings were reported across Western Australia and Tasmania until 1980, meeting to a vested interest in the species once again. In 1983, Teg Turner offered a $100,000 reward for proof that these carnivorous marsupials are still alive. While the thylacine is still considered extinct, unconfirmed sightings continue to be reported in the 21st century, and the reward is still out there. So keep looking, everyone. And all, all the mice that might want us, this penguin has come up with one. But uh, it'll happen. It's way down in trade, it'll happen. Number four, the Godo. Round down, no, 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 way up, vine. We're mylin', hurt mine, I'm no, 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 but that, huh? Most of us have seen the animated movie Ice Age. You could recall a joke that implied this famous bird died out during that time period, but this was actually untrue. The Dodo seemed so bizarre and comical. But by the 18th century, some scientists doubted it had ever existed at all. Due to their hunting by Dutch sailors that had arrived on the island of Mauritius, the flightless bird became extinct. However, their official extinction was only confined in the 19th century, despite their increasing rarity in the 17th century. The Dodos are constantly under with us. Surviving through the Ice Age thanks to its obvious woolly exterior, the Malek's coexist elephantine mastodon. The herds clearly inspired keyboard. We've been trumps fixed by their majesty for thousands of years. Humanity found many uses for the bones of the prehistoric elephant, such as utilizing them for tools and using them, leading them to migrate to other pastures.
Finally, the creatures made their last stand on Wrangell Island in the Arctic Ocean, surviving until 4,000 years ago and Now we am to stand in batters. We're still with the evolution.